All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the day. It's amazing what uh, giving away free stuff will do for your YouTube viewer engagement. You guys commented like 130 something entries. I can't remember. We'll see here in a minute. But uh, yeah, today is the day. It's exactly two weeks from the day I uploaded the video. I'm giving away this lock precision four inch Patriot. If you didn't enter by now, I'm sorry. You missed a good opportunity, but if I have it my way, more opportunities like this will come in the future. We're rapidly approaching the 10,000 subscriber mark. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, when we hit 10,000, I'm gonna try and figure out another giveaway. Before we get to picking the winner for the Patriot, I wanted to uh, go over a couple things and uh, show you guys what we got coming up for Rockets in the near future. Sorry again that I haven't posted anything. Um, I'm preparing for a drift event that I'm leaving for tomorrow at 4 a.m. actually, driving to Utah. Um, car related stuff, not rocket related stuff. So I've been trying to keep up with that. I work a lot. But most importantly, um, all of the Tripliato launches the past couple weeks have been scrubbed. They had one launch, but I wasn't in town for it. So unfortunately, we fly BLM land that has a pretty high risk of fire when it's hot outside. So we can't fly during the summer. I do, however, plan on going to Oregon, Oregon Rocketry for NXRS next month. I'll be at LDRS the month after that in July in Utah at the Bonneville Salt Flats. That's where we're flying my Iris on an N motor. So um, I appreciate all of you guys watching. Uh, if you want to help me out with getting to these launches and camera equipment and everything I need to uh, make this happen, I bought some onboard cameras. I'm going to try and talk to some people about putting the cameras on their rockets. Um, hopefully we get some cool onboard footage without losing any cameras. Um, but yeah, if you check out rocketvlogs.com, I have some merch. The APCP one is kind of the most popular. It's like the ACDC logo, but ammonium perchlorate composite propellant. It's what we fly high power rockets on. So real quickly, I'm going to take you around the garage, show you what I got going on, what you can look forward to because like I said, I haven't really had time to work on rocket stuff, but there's a bunch of cool stuff right behind you guys that I will be working on soon. First and foremost is the seven and a half inch iris. This is a 66% scale Atlantic Research Corporation iris sounding rocket. Took the cars off-roading, we got a little dusty there. It is all fiberglass, seven and a half inches in diameter, quarter inch fiberglass G10 fins. And when it's all put together, a little over 12 feet tall, it's a big rocket. And with the motor in, it's probably gonna weigh over a hundred pounds. However, it's flying on a 98 millimeter end motor and uh, should go to about 8,500 feet. If you aren't familiar with how big an end motor is, let me show you. This is an M motor case right now. It's got an Aerotech M1297 white lightning in it. This is what my dad's level three flight was supposed to be on a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, the launch got scrubbed. So my dad probably gonna have to do his level three at LDRS unless he comes to Oregon with me. Um, I flew this exact motor for my level three last year in Argonia, Kansas. You can go watch that video up here, or this is actually the same case that I flew the M2050 in my five inch Punisher a couple months back. You can see that video up there as well. But to put it in perspective, this is an M motor. It's not a small rocket motor, it's 75 millimeter case. It's about two feet long and uh, pretty expensive to fly. However, this is an N motor case. This is an Aerotech 9815 360 case and you can put motors like the N3300 Redline, N1000 White Lightning, N2000 White Lightning or the N2220 Dark Matter which is the motor I have sitting in a box back there that will be flying at LDRS. So that's my priority. We have a couple things we need to situate on the Iris and um, it's going to be a good time. I still have to finish it and I'm starting to already feel stressed even though I still have like two months to get it situated. I'm gonna have to get the ball rolling here. So uh, yeah, let's move on to what else I got going on. As far as what I still have to do to this rocket, it's never flown before. It's just been transported a lot. It went with me to Kansas and then back here when I lived there for college. I still have to put an electronics bay in it, put rail buttons on it. Uh, somebody knocked over the nose cone. It's an old gel coat style nose cone, so the tip broke off and I have to Gonna have to figure that out. Uh, we got shock cord and everything. We need to set all the recovery gear up and I have to make an adapter because that has a six inch motor mount, which I would show you, but it's heavy and I don't feel like moving it. So for the record, 
the 98 millimeter case is a four inch case that has a six inch motor mount so if i ever got a wild hair and any of my friends or anybody out there that wants to make a six inch o motor um maybe we'll have to give that a shot at balls or something sometime we'll see we we gotta get at least one successful flight out of it first because i started building that rocket on 17. moving on four inch punisher i want to get the proper length nose cone for it but that's not super high on the priority list i have this six inch performance rocketry all fiberglass to red max and upscales are kind of my thing so I love that thing and I need to actually get it situated. Um, it's almost done, it just needs fillets. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for deployment on it. We got, what else, where's that thing at? Here it is. I got a fiberglass Mad Cow 54 millimeter to mock minimum diameter rocket. Um, I was going to ship the three inch Punisher to Kansas to fly it at Airfest this year since I'm flying down there because I'll be flying from Kansas to Florida for an unrelated thing. But uh, I saw this come up locally on a rocketry group here in Idaho and I got a screaming deal for a minimum diameter 54 millimeter kit and I figured I've only just broken 10,000 last year. Um, my level three flight was my highest flight today, 14,300 feet. This was close. We did about 13,000 on the M2050. This will do a lot more than that on N1000. That's a very expensive motor. So instead what I'm going to do is build this minimum diameter kit. We're going to ship that to my buddy Taylor down in Kansas. And then we're going to put an L1000 in it and try and break the 20,000 foot mark because I have yet to do it. Also in here when I was at Triple Vegas Spring Fest, shout out to uh, Robert DeHate and uh, Gloria Robinson over at AMW Pro X. I got this four inch upscale Big Daddy kit. I'm not allowed near their trailer because they make cool upscales. Speaking of cool upscales, they make, here's their four inch Red Max kit that I also have. Um, not so high on the priority list, mainly the Iris and that 54 millimeter minimum diameter. Kind of what we're trying to focus on here. I just bought a couple K motors from Rick, our motor guy who had some old bag style motors sitting around. So uh, just a couple sparkies. We can't fly sparkies in Idaho. So I'll probably just bring these with me to NXRS or LDRS or whatever. I don't, I'm probably not gonna fly anything in NXRS. Just go there and film it. Um, but I'll probably bring them to LDRS and bring the three inch Punisher or something with a 54 millimeter mount. So we can burn some K motors and yada yada. But primarily this is my focus. I've had this thing for almost nine years now. So it's time for that thing to fly. I finally can uh, justify it financially for the most part. That being said, a lot of indirect costs of flying that rocket or uh, you know, transporting it places and taking it to rocket launches and is really big and heavy and gas costs a lot of money. So again, rocketvlogs.com. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Patreon. Let me know what you guys think of that. It'd be kind of fun to do. Uh, you know, some like behind the scenes videos, or some bonus videos I could do an upload every once in a while where uh, we maybe do a kit review or something that Patreon only would get to see. I'm thinking like $5 a month or something like that because $5 a month on a big scale would be uh, monumentally helpful and I could uh, go to some cool launches I've never been to. I really want to go to MDRA, some East Coast launches. They fly big rockets out there. So that's something that interests you guys and seeing me go to other launches all over the country we can go balls and see some just ridiculously huge rocket projects and stuff like that um rocketvlogs.com we start with the t-shirts and like i said we'll talk about patreon for now let's see who won the patriot all right there we go guys 125 unique comments it's pulled them all up so we're just going to press start and it's going to pick a winner for us Ah, that's awesome. Okay, so Jim Yanuzios, I hope I pronounced your name right. This is exactly the kind of thing I was really hoping whoever wins this would be somewhat on this spectrum. He says, this would be given to my buddy's son for his level one attempt with an H242. After he attended Red Glare in Maryland, he's hooked and ready to advance. Thank you so much for a great opportunity. Thank you, Jim, for watching my videos. And that's gonna be awesome. I think he's gonna love this kit. It's a great, great level one kit. H242 Redline, that's a good motor. That'll give it a good little kick. Uh, you can comment on this video or I'm gonna try and find you otherwise. But yeah, thank you guys so much uh, for entering and thank you once again to Dave and Jay over at Lock Precision for making this possible. I'm gonna fly this thing as soon as I get an opportunity because I love 
simple cardboard kits like this. It's such a good way to get people into the hobby and they're so affordable. You can just collect a bunch of them. So that's what you should do is you go to lockprecision.com, buy a bunch of rockets, and maybe we can talk them into doing this kind of giveaway thing again. But at any rate, I really appreciate your guys' input. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I appreciate all of the comments. I enjoy doing these rocket videos and I'm really glad that you guys enjoy seeing them. So just to recap everything, I got more rocket videos coming for you guys soon. I promise. I've just been crazy busy. We got a lot to do and a lot of cool launches coming up. A lot of cool motors to fly. It's going to be a good time. So if you're not subscribed, please make sure you are. Check out rocketvlogs.com. Buy yourself an APCP t-shirt or any of the other t-shirts that I got available. Some of them are available on Amazon. I'm not completely sure about that right now though. I'll put links in the description for those as well. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting. If you can't afford to buy merch or you don't want to buy merch, the easiest thing you can do is share this video on Facebook. Share it anywhere and the more comments, the more engagement we get, the more views and recommendations these videos will get. And hopefully my channel can just keep growing and we can just do more and more rocket content. For now though, I'm pretty happy with what we've got and thank you guys all for entering. We'll see you guys next time.